Hi guys, welcome back to the Auction Modeler. We're now on to issue 18 of a Czech Partworks Spitfire. So in issue 18 we are starting with the bulwarks and details for the cockpit. So we've got the bulwarks there, a connector with some screws. This part, this sprue here, so this one we don't actually use in this issue. These are the uh, foot pedals and some cockpit details. I think they're more towards the um, console and the dashboard for the uh, uh, for the build. Uh, but we've got all the parts laid out just down here. Um, so what we're starting off with is uh, cut part A and one part B. So there's a couple of part Bs on this. Uh, so. Two part A's and two part B's. So if I just get my clippers. So on the sprue, these two parts here are part A, and these two parts down here are part B. No, these two parts here are part B. So it's those two and those two. So if I just clip these off, one part A, one part B. And check how the peg of part B fits into part A. When you're happy with the fit, glue the parts together, repeat to make a second assembly. So that just fits into there. So peg on that one, hole on that one, just fit together like that. So now if I just run that bead of glue. Exactly the same with the other two to do the second assembly of the same parts. So that's those two bits all attached together and glued and there. Now cut part C from the frame, which is this big box square thing just up at the top here. And then glue these two parts that we've just done onto part C. Making sure we get everything in the right position. So it's these two holes on part C. Clean the knife off a bit. So it's these two holes here, that one and that one, oops, straight up it. So that one there and that one there that we'll be gluing these into. So when I say point them away from all the details on the part, what I mean is these couple of bits of details like up here, these two parts have to point kind of down and away. But that's steps one and two done. Now we bring in the first of the bulwarks. So what you want with this first bulwark is, uh, sorry, take the bulkhead um, Frame 18.1, this is the frame that goes behind the seat in the cockpit. Note the orientation of the frame, the smoother side is facing when viewed from the angle. Check how the pegs on the back of part C fit into the holes near the top and then glue in place. So you've got two different sides. You've got one side that's kind of got indents and little nubs and everything, and then you've got a side that is totally smooth. This is the side that you need to do these first parts with. So you've got two little pegs on the back of this part. So you've got one, two, and they fit into these two holes 
at the top here, one and two. Now they've got to fit a specific way around as well. So what I'll do, I'll glue it in and then I'll show you the exact way around that these parts need to go. So you know exactly which way around they've got to go in. Yeah. So that's the way around that they go. So that's that part in. Now we need the frame from um, issue, I think it was issue 15, was it 15 when we were building the, um, no it wasn't 15, it must have been 16, yes issue 16, this one. Now we take off the kind of triangular shaped bit. And par the bits down on the side there, there we go. And now this goes on the reverse of that part. So you've got four little holes. So one, ooh, get rid of the bits of plastic off my knife. One, there, 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 and there. And basically what you're doing is, you glue in this part on with those four holes there, 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 and there, covering um, those four pegs. nice and simple. Now cut part F from the frame. Uh, part F, is this part F and part G? Yes it is. Right so these next two bits are this bit here and this bit here. Make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Yeah so it's those two bits in the bottom corner there that we're going to be doing next. One, and that is two. So those two are both off of the sprue now. Right, so let's have a look and see how this is going to work. So I'm assuming. Right, so now these bits will go and attach onto this hole just here. So what we're doing is we're taking this bit first, that's just got the single small peg on the back and then that kind of detail on the front. We're going to make sure that that sits in there first, which it does nicely. So I'm just going to glue that in place. Glue that on like that first, that's that bit on. Now this bit goes over the top. No, that's wrong. Got part F from the frame, we're moving in with edges. Take the headrest, that's this bit. Right, I apologise, I apologise. Uh, okay, take the headrest, 18.6, and check how it fits on the central post. Glue in place, then glue the recess. Right, okay, that's where I've gone wrong. That's where I've gone wrong. So we've glued that bit on. We've now got the headrest, which is this part just here, that glues straight over that peg. So where I was saying about part G, it's actually going back to part issue 16. So I've still got that part just there that I've cut off. We will be using that in a minute by the look of it. So that just glues on there and that's your headrest there, all done. I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit just on the uh, on the edges, just get rid of a bit of that glue. There we go. Looks a bit better now. There we are. So that's that bit done. That's your headrest. Uh, right. Take the strut, which is this one here, eighteen point three, and identify the rectangular hole in the frame, which is that one just there. Uh, check how the tab on part 18.3 fits into the hole, fits in place with a little bit of glue. So we'll just make sure that it lines up 
obviously with the the shape of the um, the bull bulwark bull head as it's bulk head sorry as it's coming around that way. So dab of glue covering that hole up. And then we'll just glue that one into position, and that goes on the same side. has the um, headrest there but it's going in this bottom corner down here uh, cut part H uh, from the frame 167 so that's this one just here part 16 H there that can be got rid of now and then uh, cut part G from frame 18.4 which is the one that we've got just here So we've got the two pegs. So the two pegs on this part here, so those two just there, fit into the two holes on this part just inside there. So what I'll do with this is dab a glue on there, dab a glue on there. There we go. And then position that on there like that. That's in. That's on. That's glorious. Right. Lovely. So that's that bit done. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Fit holes on part G glue in place. The slot in the lower edge of part 16.7 fits over the rectangular peg on the central bar. Ah, so this fits on this side. So basically, this part just here that we just glued together, that little hole just there fits over that peg just there. And the black part looks like it faces straight inwards as well on this. So, yes, it does. So the black part faces the same way as these two parts here do. Where's my tweezers? Where's my nice tweezers? There they are. So that's that bit in there as well. So that's that done. Now, next, take parts D and E from the frame 18.4. Check how they fit together and apply a little super glue to the pegs on part E. So that's the last two bits that are left on this sprue from this issue. So we'll just clip these off. So apply a little glue onto these two pegs there we go and then now there's only one way around these can go because one of them has that nub just there that you can take the top on it so that's that's in there okay okay I don't know if it's in place right step nine so Uh, okay, hang on. No, identify the two pegs on frame 16.2, which is this one. So, the two pegs on this frame are these two just here, that one and that one, and they will go into those two holes in the back there. So, just making sure we've got this the right way round. So, that nub should be facing away from all the pipes. So, you've got the two little pegs there, that little nub at the top there should be facing away from all the pipes. And then that should just sit on there neatly like that. There we go. So that's 
that's all in and attached. Right, so now comes the interesting bit. We're screwing a few bits together now. So, right, so next take the bulwark frame 18.2 and check how it fits against the cockpit frame 16.2 note that there are two rectangular tabs near the top of part 18.2 which should be facing away from you in the orientation shown in the left uh, on the left sorry uh, see blue arrows on the completed work part so basically what it's saying is That should fit in. How should that fit in? This is coming in that way. Even then there's not two holes it's going to fit into. Right, let me have a look at this because... Oh, I've got the wrong part. <laughs> I've got the wrong bit. It's that one. Right, so... When it says the two tabs, that side up at the top, round where these three holes are up here, there's nothing. If you flip it round, see the two tabs? That's what it's on about. Those two tabs have to face inwards towards the um, towards the body of the uh, model. So, uh, take the bulwark frame, which note that there are two rectangular tabs near the top of 18.2, which should be facing away from you in the orientation shown on the left. Uh, see the blue arrows in the completed work. Pictures. The bulwark 18.2 fits behind the tabs with the screw holes. When you're happy with the fit, place two KM screws and screw into position. So, basically, it's going to sit like that. So, where those two holes are there and there, and those two holes there and there match up, but it doesn't sit like that behind, it sits in front of. So the sides and the little uh, kind of indents on the bulwark line up properly with um, line up properly with the sides of the cockpit. So that's one. So same as I always do, I'm just getting them to the point where the screws bite and they're tight enough that they will just hold it in but without, you know, it can move a little bit and now I'm just going to fully tighten them which actually on this is pretty much done already not counter some which is a bit odd but there we are, they're in so that's it that's what it looks like so far now I'm guessing that this bit will go in the same position there so that gives us an idea on how wide this cockpit is going to be so it isn't going to be massive but it just goes to show you that the spit, this Spitfire itself is going to be huge when it's done um, I'm so impressed with this so far. I mean, it, it looks it looks incredible. I'm, I'm so chuffed. I really am chuffed. Um, now, like I say, you don't use any of these parts just yet. These are the parts that are going to go into the next four issues, um, which should be coming anytime soon. Now that I've actually caught up with the Spitfire, knowing my luck, I will get the next four issues um, before I've even had time to edit these ones. You will find that out if I upload issue 19 and I look a bit annoyed. Um, speaking of issue 19, uh, we get the frame for the cockpit uh, together with controls and instrument panels. So we actually get some decent bits um, for the cockpit, control panel, screws, things like that in the next one. So, that's issue 18 done. Um, issue 19 hopefully will be up soon. Um, I've not actually got these issues yet, so I don't know when exactly they're going to be up. Um, I have seen on Facebook that some people are getting those parts already. Now, I am recording this on Monday the 17th of, eight, uh, 17th of August, so it's possible that I will get them within the next week. Um, usually I get my parts sort of 20th onwards. 
Um, but yeah, that's it um, for the Spitfire for the moment. Uh, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Auction Modeler for more weekly model building geekiness. From t this video, uh, issue 19 should go back to um, the normal Sunday slot that I had these Spitfire videos booked in for. Um, but obviously we'll go from there. Now, I do apologise if you can hear my neighbours mowing their lawn. Um, they have been going for about the last 20 minutes. Um, I need to cut the lawns. Anyway, I will see you in the next video for the Spitfire number 19, if not in one of the Bismarck videos. Until then, guys, please remember, happy modelling and stay safe.